That rock and roll is a goddamn devil. Let's get the fuck out of here and head for the mountains. The old kickity pack of the train car running. Sounds out there with him on my mind. Since I was born, my head been on me. Songs from a different place and time. Motherfuckers, it's your boy Abby Tap back at you with another video. Well, shit, I only got one day off a week, off of work this week, but I'm gonna sure as hell take advantage of it. Some of you that have through hiked the AT already are familiar with what's behind me. This is Max Patch. The AT runs right through here, and in about a year and a half, I'll be running through here and again. Next time on a through hike, I've been up here a couple of times. Uh, but never camped up here, so this should be a first for me. Should be windy as hell up here because obviously, obviously there's no trees around here. But I mean, it's 360 view of mountains. It's unreal. See behind me there, sun's just now starting to come down. It's about 4:30. Gonna be a hell of a sunset tonight. So just got up here, and uh, to my surprise, two pieces of trail magic. Got some fruit there. Hell yeah! I brought tons of food, but trail magic magic is always good. And this fire pit, I already had a stack of wood. Finding wood up here is a, is a pain in the ass, so maybe we'll have a small fire tonight. All right, well, got my tent set up already. Just gonna sit back and relax and uh, get some dinner going here in a little bit, but fuck, I'm just relaxing for the night. I'll probably stay here most of the day tomorrow because I don't have to be back till uh, work on Wednesday and today's Monday, so hell yeah, should be a good one. Holy sheep shit. Hell yeah, sun's gonna be down in about an hour or so. Got a time lapse working, but I'll show you what I brought for food. Like I said, I'm just gonna be here tonight and probably tomorrow through lunch. So, got some goldfish crackers, hell yeah. Gummy bear bears, sour patch gummy bears. Oatmeal for the morning, brown sugar maple. Gotta have my fucking dark chocolate for tonight. Speaking of tonight, dinner is pasta sides, cheddar broccoli as usual. I'll probably throw some of those uh, uh, cheese crackers in there too. Got some hot chocolate, go along with my coffee. More goldfish. Tuna creations, got a couple of them for lunch tomorrow. As well as some pepperoni. Hell yeah. I ain't eating that shit, that's for Roscoe. Peanut butter, go on my oatmeal tomorrow morning. That's it. Fucking relaxing time. Hell yeah. Roscoe, I'm glad to see you're enjoying my sleeping bag. Dirty bastard, you know I'm cold too. <laughs> uh, holy sheep shit, you guys see that? It's unreal. I wish I could start the morning every day like this. words for it it's just it's just beautiful I came here to do two things kick some ass and drink some coffee looks like I'm already done kicking some ass <laughs> god I'm fucking retarded well I did bring some oatmeal for breakfast but I'm not even hungry so I'm just gonna drink some more coffee but uh, speaking of food it always cracks me up when I go out to the grocery store to buy food for backpacking or overnight trips or, or whatever is hiker food is such bullshit but it's so delicious i mean 
you're buying gummy bears and fucking chocolate and all this bullshit that you would normally never eat at home. But it, it amazes me that not once when I go buy food for camping that the re- person at the register say, oh, so you're going camping, huh? It's like they must be thinking to themselves, this asshole really eats like this? It fucking cracks me up. The good old copper spur held up good last night. I did stick it down. The wind was whipping pretty good, but no issues whatsoever. Kept, it, kept me nice and toasty warm for the most part. But I want to show you guys this over here. Not 30 yards from my campsite. There's that white blaze right there. Good old Appalachian Trail. Runs right through Max Patch. Goes up along there. I'll take you all up there in a little bit, but. I'm still just relaxing in the morning. I just walked up to the top, guys. Sorry I got into the wind, but I'm up here camping. And then, I don't know, those are, that's where my tent is. It's just a short walk up to the top, but quite the view. and shit, but the wind is fucking whipping up here. <laughs> sit here and stay outside my tent at these beautiful mountains I can't I can't help uh, but think of where I was three years ago uh, for those of you that don't know I'm a recovering alcoholic and uh, next month will be my three-year anniversary of not having a single drink which is just amazing to me um, because three years ago I was almost six feet underground um, I it got to the point where I was drinking about a liter of whiskey a day for a good three or four months straight and I couldn't get my hands to stop shaking um, and you might be thinking how the hell did I quit well December 19th 2013 was the day after my birthday and I woke up it was like something out of a movie I went to the bathroom looked in the mirror and started crying my fucking eyes out um, and I just told myself that's it I'm done um, I did it on my own uh, for myself by myself I didn't go to a single AA meeting I just went cold fucking turkey and I ain't gonna lie, it was fucking rough for the first two weeks uh, getting over the withdrawals and stuff, but it's because of mountains and the mother nature like this without, I was able to quit because I've done stuff like this, camping and stuff my whole life, and uh, I went down a dark, dark road when I started drinking a lot and uh, got away from all this stuff, so um, getting back into camping and just being out in mother nature and enjoying the outdoors helped me stay sober for these last three years, so... I just thought I'd share that because, um, you know, it, it's very fucking humbling to look out at these mountains and realize where I was three years ago. So, pretty damn special, if you ask me. I love it. Like me, and you're a hermit. I know you hermits out there can relate. You fucking need places like this because you stay in town too goddamn long, you go batshit crazy. I mean, I like my work and I like my coworkers and I can tolerate them at work, but when I'm outside of work, I don't fucking talk to people. I, I have to get out in the fucking mountains like this and, and get a, get the fuck away. I can't. I, I, I mean, I'm a friendly fucking person and I'm, I don't mind bullshitting about the goddamn weather from time to time, but. Uh, you know, I don't really give a shit about your dog. I don't give a shit about your cats. I don't give a shit about your kids. I give a shit about this, and, and I need it for my fucking sanity, so. If I stayed in town too long and I didn't get out here, I'd probably go back to drinking again. I can't fucking have that, so. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, motherfuckers. Time to say goodbye to Max Patch. I'm sure I'll be back here before too long, but eventually back here on a through hike. This is your boy IB Tat. We'll holler at you motherfuckers later.